Hello everybody. So I haven't filmed anything up until this point because it's kind of boring. Uh, this is where the excitement kind of begins. But uh, here is my 2018 Dodge Charger. It was a police package. Pretty simple. I put it on the frame rack. I just built uh, <clears throat> some tube. It goes up to the, the cradles. So there's a front cradle uh, and then there's a back cradle back here. And these cradles hold, well, obviously the suspension mounting points, the rear differential, <clears throat> kind of everything that goes with it. Uh, and that's for the, that goes for the front and back. This is an all wheel drive car. So all wheel drive, five, seven Hemi. I cut the whole inner structure of the car right here, right in front of the firewall. This is kind of a frame rail. It's part of the unibody. So you can kind of see it there. You can see here, I cut these straight through all the way down, just like bobbed it off right there in the front. Everything just pretty much just unbolted from the bottom of the car. And then what, what I did was I took chains from the dash bar, the, the dash support bars, and I went to the seat uh, mounting points in the back of the car. And I just took two chains, two little, uh, two little small sections of chain, and then hooked these big chains onto that. And we made an X, and we took the forks of the tractor, just straight in there, Right in there, lifted it up. It's actually really balanced really well. Uh, and so we have it sitting on a skid right now. I am going to probably try to sell this because it's in it's in wonderful condition and no wrecks. Um, I'm, I'm honestly kind of insane for cutting it up. The, old, the only thing that was wrong with the car and why, why I got it was the uh, cam shaft in the motor blew up and they didn't need, the sheriff's department didn't need another one of these cars sitting there. They had four of them. So I got it for pretty cheap. The transmission currently sitting on blocks, I, the motor, was spoken for by the person I purchased the vehicle from, so I got a really good deal from it. I have another block uh, motor just ready to go. Here's the motor uh, that came out of the thing. So this is this is a 5.7 Hemi all-wheel drive, so you can see the uh, all-wheel drive all oil pan. Here is where uh, the axle for, let's see, this is the passenger side comes out. This is the, the drive shaft uh, joint that comes from the transfer case from the back of the transmission and then this is the driver's side this is a this is basically a switch on and off so this was this was a uh, not all all the time all wheel drive so it can switch on and off i'm probably going to do a toggle switch on the inside um, of the car so that way i can flip the switch make it rear wheel drive or flip the switch and make it all wheel drive um, like i said this is not i i'm going to take this motor mount off these motor mounts um, for now i'm going to keep them I would really like to go with something a little lighter. I think I can make a tube or something. Maybe a little, all of these are aluminum, so I don't know. I might just keep those. We'll just have to see. Uh, and then obviously the oil pan uh, and all of this goodies that comes off of the motor. Because all he needs is the, the block and the heads and um, I need the rest of it. So just to catch you up to speed, <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is I have the fender kind of mocked up right now. Uh, I had to cut a large portion of the inner inner fender well out you can see here uh, these these truck fenders they, they have a huge giant inner fender well it comes down the trucks were a frame on, or a cab on frame there's no strut tower or anything like that so this is what came out of uh, the truck I have this cut I have it just kind of sitting here with, on a couple bolts as you can see I really think that the I really think the cab needs to move forward another three inches so the measurement the the charger is two inches longer than the truck this was a short bed truck. So the wheelbase is two inches longer. From the cab back to the center of the wheels is a little short right now. So as you can see, the wheel kind of doesn't sit exactly in the center of, of the fender well. So this needs to move forward three inches per the measurements of the vehicle. We have plenty of room in here between the firewall. The problem is going to be uh, we have some clearance issues here, which is not a big deal. We also have some, I already had to clearance this uh, before. I'm gonna have some clearance issues here uh, that we're gonna just need to cut this back. I'm just gonna cut it straight back. So once this moves forward three inches, it's gonna need to move down three inches because ride height currently uh, is the top of the frame rack that I built. So that's gonna be ride height. The tire sitting below ride height right now. I'm gonna put a bar in there and just jack it up. I just didn't want to have to mess with it at the wheels at ride height. I wanted to be able to freedom to take them on and off without having to jack anything up. The truck is kind of sitting pretty high right now. I would like it to come down another four to five inches, maybe. Full hand, hand width in a little bit there. So maybe not quite that much, but we'll see. I really want this thing slammed to the ground. It also is sitting kind of 
it's sitting like this. And that's just because of the way the wood is uh, that I have holding it up right now. That's the update on the project. I'm gonna try to film more steps as we go. This is the first time I've done anything this major, but uh, I have really good friends. Dorian has been helping me a lot. John obviously been helping me a ton. And uh, Kevin from Maine actually was down here working on his truck at John's shop. And they both stopped over and were very kind. Um, they helped me take the body of the charger off. So that was made it a little bit easier than just one person. And then underneath the truck, we're probably gonna need to do some clearancing because you can see the transfer case is just about touching the transmission tunnel. Um, drive shaft, yee. I mean, that's about where the drive shaft needs to sit. I, I have thought about going to a one piece, but you have to think this cradle is not moving at all. So uh, it's basically going to, it's not like a, 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 a straight axle that, you know, goes up and down. The center part of this cradle doesn't move relative to the transmission like it's 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 just straight so i may i probably don't even need to go to a one piece right now uh until i start making some more power because it's not like i'm going to make a thousand horsepower right off the bat these braces that i have here are just kind of holding it in place for now so i'm definitely i'm definitely going to have to cut a bunch of this trans tunnel out um and just lift it up i'm probably just going to cut it like this and then just put maybe two inch strip all the way up and all the way around and just kind of weld it in place for now. Thank you very much, Seth, for fixing the rust uh, on the uh, rocker panel in the cab corner. These look amazing. Uh, they're obviously probably just need some a little bit of body filler, but all the rust is fixed and they're, they're functional for right now. And whenever it comes time to body work, we're gonna fix this, this line here. We didn't wanna fix it quite yet until uh, we have the fender on, we have everything sitting exactly there, then we can fix that body line, that bottom door, as just how the molding was of this part, and that's just where it's set. So, unfortunately, these, these old trucks kind of, when you get reproduction body parts, they don't necessarily always, body lines aren't always exactly perfect. <laughs> that and this, tr this truck isn't going to be a show truck, it's going to be a race truck, so...